and then What's up everybody? This is Matthew Holt from Matt Holt Racing and High Society Off-Road. Last weekend I got the opportunity to go up to Grid Life right, with my cousins today. and my brother. Uh, it's held at the Autobahn Country Club, which is a $45,000 uh, joining fee and then $5,000 a year uh, maintenance. Uh, so obviously being this event is open to the general public, so it's super cool. We see a lot of people there. Uh, it's, it's super, super neat to go to. It was pouring down rain that morning, but racers were still getting out there and getting after it, so that was... Again, we drove around in the rain for quite a while, first hour, probably half hour, uh, looking at all the cars, looking at the garages, guys speaking on stuff. Uh, some guys track, still went ahead and unloaded their cars, got out there and played on the track. They weren't able to do the high speeds like they normally are. Uh, luckily, they did clear out later on the afternoon, they were able to get out there and just, uh, rip it. But it was super cool to see the guys working on the cars. Most of them had canopies where they were staying dry, but it was uh, super, super awesome to see them out there. That was last year. Here's a few Supras. That was the famous Jackie Dings car. You can check them out on YouTube. And then we headed down the track. Obviously, there was pouring down rain, Here we go. you can clearly see. Uh, most of the cars didn't have windows. They were removed due to weight, or they didn't have them to begin with. Uh, again, some of these cars are very, very nice to see without window as rain was pouring in. It was uh, kind of amusing, and I felt a little bit bad for them. Uh, again, these guys are not very weather guys. They were out on the track getting with it. It was super well, awesome guys, to watch. Place get out there. Getting. Uh, again, they were not going near as fast as they normally would if it wasn't raining, but it was so super cool to see them get out there and play around. And I really appreciate the guys. We got a guy with a drop top out there, but it was super cool, super fun for the family to get to watch. You can clearly tell here in the video that some cars are faster than others, or other guys are willing to push harder than others uh, during this wet condition. So that was kind of neat to see some of the guys really getting out there and pushing hard. Watching the racing really was so awesome, but getting to talk to the drivers about their cars and the mods they had done was absolutely incredible and one of the highlights of my day. At that point, we had seen some buildings off in the distance, which my cousins explained that those are garages so that the guys actually have built for their race cars. And so we drove over and took a look, and they were absolutely incredible. Twin Turbo LS, because why not? Some of the drivers even have awesome in-car cameras like this gentleman here, which is Garrett's Subaru on YouTube. You can go check out a lot of his in-car, which is super cool. As we are walking around, we saw several other types of cars that were racing on a completely separate track that day. So we walked over and checked them out. They're a little different style race car. They race a 1300cc Hayabusa engine, and it was awesome to watch them. Yeah, that's a right-hand drive Skyline GTR. You know, there's a lot of turns. Sometimes you gotta just, you know, check up and make sure you're going the right way. This was a really awesome C4 Corvette that had a ton of work done to it. Uh, had a plywood front air dam, but it worked really well, he said. Uh, this is an Oldsmobile big body car, which was probably one of my favorite of the day. Had a big block engine, full interior, which is required for their class. And the guy said, I make beer runs on the weekend with it. Awesome logo, shout out to all the staff for the Autobahn Country Club that made this an awesome weekend. They had a ton of fire department on standby, that's their crash truck. And here's an offered vehicle, cause why not? He said he paid a thousand bucks for it and welded the rear diff. By that time we had ran and grabbed some lunch and we came back and the drifting was just kicking off, which is probably the most exciting part of the day. Uh, definitely one of my favorites to watch. It's a really good time, guys get to go out there and just annihilate the track, have a good time. Huge horsepower, big motors, tires are smoking. Very, very cool to watch and obviously a crowd favorite. seat where we got to sit and watch the action. It was a lot of fun. That's the crew, my two cousins, one of their sons, my nephew, and my brother. Uh, we had a blast. I really appreciate the, all them uh, inviting me to come along. It was a really good time. 355.
awesome things about Grid Life is they have a live feed. So I walked over, checked out the production trailer, literally got to peek in on their live show, which was super awesome. Earlier today. Uh, they do a great uh, job. But there's at so it. much so to talk turns 2.1 miles. They have That's some what it looks awesome like graphics here. for Turn explaining one. what they're talking Pretty about. Pretty fast, third gear. Cool. You're gonna take uh, again, like I said, I got to peek in the production trailer. It was super, super neat. Check it all out. Um, and look at their gear, see what they have, kind of compare it to what we do. Everything is very well labeled. Uh, awesome. They have snacky snacks with a double fridge, so that was obviously one of my favorite parts. After checking out their stuff, we went ahead and went across the track. I went live to my social media and showed some awesome videos of some of the cool stuff happening. We goofed off for a while and really had, really had a good time just chilling for the afternoon. We got a guy in a banana costume. Ow, ow! Ford Bronco back there. A lot of Mazda Miatas out here. Small, great power to weight ratio. Tonight? Oh, fancy steakhouse. Uh oh. Get it right. We're going to the mo We got some people on. Okay, you got here? Crazy night. Crazy, crazy night down here. Having a good time. We got ready, so we was getting ready to watch some drift racing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, the cars come around there like, pa pang 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 pa pang pa pang pa pang. Got the BMW out here sending it the grid light. After Grid Life, we headed out and we ended up going to the reserve, which is a very classy restaurant. It did not disappoint. I had the shrimp uh, as an appetizer and then I got the burger later on, which was an amazing, amazing meal. After that, we hit a Wally's on the way home, which was really cool because I'm a cousin never been one. And again, that was wrapping up our Grid Life experience. It was so much fun. I'm so glad my cousins invited me and we look forward to doing more next year.